wanted to show you guys around um, the property a little bit and show you what we're doing to prepare for winter and actually for next summer um, because um, what we do now reflects what we find in the spring when all the snow melts. So hold on, I'm kind of stuck here. So how we prepared the chicken coops for the winter is I just cleaned out all their straw, all their bedding in the coop and in their uh, little, they have a little house over there that they use in the summertime. And I cleaned that all out and I used that as a base layer for next year's garden. And then I put new bedding in both places, but this coop here, the big coop, is going to be their winter house. That one is going to be closed up because they need to all be together because it's too cold to have separate places for them to be and it needs to be closed up and so whatever straw is in there now is going to be a base layer and then the next time uh, we put more straw in there it's just going to go on top and it's going to be layered and that's going to be insulation for the floor for the winter and then next spring we will once it thaws out we will take all of that out but that will insulate the floor itself um, from the cold weather because it's open underneath underneath the underneath there so so pretty much ready for winter as far as the coop goes um, and the chickens they're gonna be good I think so um, let me show you what I did the base layer when I was talking about the, the straw that came out of here with the chicken poop and whatnot um, that went into the base layer of my new garden space so i'll take you over there and show you what that looks like so this here is going to be my next year's um above ground crops um and what's here is there's cardboard underneath and then the chicken straw chicken poop straw and then um there's our our household compost and then our yard compost and then there's some sawdust in there and then there's going to be soil and that is going to sit for the winter and then when that thaws out we'll get that all stirred up again and then um, add more soil and then we'll be planting in this next year and see how that goes and i've got i've got more cardboard here so i'm going to extend this out here a little a little more so it'll be um, possibly like 10, 10, 10 by 12 little garden spot or something like that. And this will just be for my, um, above ground crops or ground crops. And, um, my root crops are going to be in boxes again. <clears throat> it will be in the boxes, above ground boxes again next year. And we're just going to see how this goes. Um, see if we can't keep the moose out of this area this winter. I know they like to root around in the compost and see what kind of goodies they can get. So um, that's gonna be the garden for next year. So I've been working on that. And then you can see the back of the house. We're still working on siding. That's been a you know two or three year project going. We see we have it, it's just getting put up. This side, we actually just finished the other day. So we are still working on it little by little. Um, we just have that little piece up front. Um, part of the problem is finding time. Um, David has a full-time job and he works on the side. And um, and we don't have a ladder um, that reaches up to the top. And having help, um, I, I can help, I help as much as I can. And um, so just finding time, this area here that I had this year this I think this part is going to be flowers only and then back in there I've got ferns I, I planted more ferns like this um, I did that one last year and it came back beautiful and I planted a bunch more back in here this year so I'm hoping that those come back next year and then in here um, is mostly um, herbs so this side is going to be all herbs and then in here we've got uh, strawberries and then I've got some herbs over there also 
and this is the boxes, things uh, from left over from the garden, and I still have a few little tomatoes trying to grow. Little tiny ones there, and a little bit bigger one here. A little one there, and then pretty much nothing happened up here this year, but you know, we're not the only one that had problems with their crops this year, and look at all the, the bugs, the bugs have eaten it all up, and then this lettuce, we did use all that lettuce, I got all that lettuce, this was onions, I got some onions, yeah, all of this, none of this, none of this worked, and all these squash plants, uh, nothing. I got six squash plants and absolutely nothing, nothing happened except for flowers this year. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna just let it decompose as is, let it seed out and just do what it does or pull it all out. Well, that was my first year garden and I got some stuff out of it. So that was good, and yeah, try again, try again. And you can see, it's definitely fall. Everything is fall. And I haven't, I haven't dug up my potatoes yet. They're still in here, so. I'll let you know how that goes. If we're gonna pull those up or not, well, I'm going to, but to see whether there's anything under there, we'll, I'll let you know. We have finally gotten the woodshed full and it holds about 10 cords of wood and it'll get us through the winter. And I talked David into building me a rolling wood bin so that I can roll it over to the front door, fill it up, and then roll it back into place.
I put my winter wood bin up on the porch and I'll fill this once or twice a week and this is where I'll grab the wood for the rolly bin for inside. Here we're still adding layers of straw to the chicken coop, getting it layered up and getting a good insulation layer on the floor. Here you can see that I went ahead and I dug up all my potatoes and I got very little potatoes but we didn't waste a single one. We boiled them up and we had a little bowl of boiled potatoes. And then this started happening, our first snow. And as it goes, the nights get longer and the days get shorter. As we move from autumn into winter, the air gets cooler and we move on to another season. As I close out another video, I would like to thank all of our viewers for supporting our channel and continue to watch. And I would ask that if you haven't subscribed yet, that you would maybe consider subscribing. And if you like the videos that you see, would you give us a thumbs up and share and comment. And we will see you again next Sunday.